हाय वेलकम टू द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रिया लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ द कंसेप्ट आयोनाइजेशन और डिसोसिएशन नाउ बिफोर लुकिंग एट द स्टेटमेंट सी दिस डायग्राम नाउ इन दिस डायग्राम वी हैव हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इन ए बीकर नाउ इफ वी ऐड दिस हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इन टू द वॉटर सो देर इज ए स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ एच सी एल बॉन्ड विल टेक प्लेस एंड देर इज ए फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पॉजिटिवली चार्ज एच प्लस आयन्स टू विच वी कॉल्ड कैटाइन्स एंड निगेटिवली चार्ज क्लोराइड आयन्स टू विच वी कॉल एनाइन्स सो वेन एसिड इज एडेड इन टू द वॉटर देर इज ए स्प्लिटिंग नाउ लुक एट दिस स्टेटमेंट according to arrhenius theory of ionization so who gave theory of ionization arrhenius gave theory of ionization the molecules of electrolytes when dissolved in aqueous solution split up into positively and negatively charged particles called cations and anions now this splitting phenomenon of electrolytes in aqueous solution is called ionization or dissociation of electrolyte so in this example that hydrochloric acid it is an electrolyte when we add it into the water there become aqueous solution and in that aqueous solution that bonds between hydrogen and chlorine will undergo splitting to form cations and anions so that process is a ionization or dissociation now consider the ionization of following electrolytes in water suppose if we have nacl which is solid when we add it into the water there is a formation of na plus and cl minus aqueous similarly that mgcl2 when we add it into the water it will form mg2 plus and two chloride ions ch3coh acetic acid when we add it into the water there is a formation of ch3coo minus plus h plus so in this example in this examples all these are the ions so to this side all these are the ions and these three are the undissociated molecules now see the ions produced by ionization of electrolytes combine back to give undissociated molecules so in this case suppose nacl is an electrolyte that electrolyte undergo ionization when we add it into the water there is a formation of ions now that ions may recombine to give an undissociated molecule now there exist equilibriums between ion produced and undissociated molecule this is called as ionic equilibria now what is ionic equilibria the existence of equilibrium between ions produced and undissociated molecule is called as ionic equilibria so this is uh, we have shown by the double headed arrow that there is a existence of equilibrium between the ions formed and the undissociated molecules now see next concept degree of ionization now see that degree of ionization which is shown by letter alpha it is equal to number of molecules ionized or dissociated divided by total number of molecules now see suppose i have 100 number of molecules total if out of that 100 50 molecules undergo ionization or dissociation then 50 upon 100 okay 50 upon 100 it means 0.5 is my degree of ionization now we have to write that formula into the statement now see statement the fraction of total number of molecules fraction means part or a portion so the fraction of total number of molecules so as i have said i have total 100 number of molecules and out of that 100 50 undergo ionization so that 50 is my fraction 
okay so the fraction of total number of molecules of the electrolyte that split or ionizes into the cations and anions is called degree of ionization or degree of dissociation now this degree of ionization usually increases with dilution okay if our solution become more dilute then there is a increase in degree of ionization so on dilution there is increase in degree of ionization and its value becomes maximum at infinite dilution so at infinite dilution the value of degree of ionization is maximum okay so today uh, we have seen or we have started with the what is mean by ionization or dissociation we have explained it with this example then uh, we have seen what is mean by ionic equilibria and then we have seen the definition of degree of ionization thank you